Hey guys, this is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Thanks for checking it out. Let's install a dual camera, high definition, forward and backup camera in the 2022 Ranger XP1000. It has a seven inch screen. It's high definition 720 and it's a wired one and it'll allow us to do many things. Forward scene, backward scene, help us with hooking up a trailer, hooking up a uh, winch, seeing what's behind us, in front of us. It's really very useful. You can see I've got all my lights all wired up, which is so nice. So the first thing I did was to determine a really nice location for this screen. Now, I have a, I have a, a slide out, a fold out window. If um, I didn't have then, there's, a, there's an insert here that you can just mount it in, but, there's, but the, I, have to, I have to have that connection for my slide out window, which I really like. So I've mounted this here. It will come out. This is a really handy feature. And then I'm just going to make a small cutout here to let the wire go through to go through the firewall to, to, the, to under the hood so I can do all my connections there. To drill this hole, I'm going to use a Forstner bit. Now, obviously, I use a drill press 99% of the time, but I think in this application it's going to work okay. So here's my little notch I made, which will be a lot better than a really huge hole for the um, connecting part. I'll show that. St so instead of having to drill a diameter of this diameter, all I needed was this little thin, little small diameter part. And you can see that it's going to fit really nicely in there. And then this will be coming through the back of this to go into the area in front of the firewall to make all the electrical connections. So deciding on a good location is very important. <clears throat> I think you want to have it in the middle and if I can put it far enough forward on this plastic piece I can look down to see the ball of the hitch and forward and plus it's back far enough that it'll be protected so that's what I think I'm going to do I'm going to take this bracket off put two self tapping screws here in this bracket and then we'll remount this plus a sun shield so I believe this is a good location and it can be adjusted up or down now we're going to run this cable <clears throat> up to this area where we can get all of our wiring taken care of. So here's the wiring. This is the cord coming from the monitor. It fits into this wiring harness just like this. Then from this are two connectors that connect each of the each of the uh, cameras. This is the front cable from the front camera and then a huge spool of line that I won't use but then I connected it to this first one. This one will be for the rear camera that I haven't mounted yet. Then from this wiring harness are three colors. So here from the wiring harness are these three red, black, and blue colors that correspond to this. We're going to connect these and this will fit into the pulse bar here making our, our power connection. So right now we need to run the mount and run the rear camera cable. Connect this so we've got power We'll have our cords placed into a more into a more organized fashion. Okay, so we've got our wires. This is I wrap this. Like that. Bring the coil over that. That's got the shrink wrap and solder. Carefully not to dislodge it. Center the silver part over the over the uh, area to be soldered and we'll just heat it up heat it on both sides it shrinks more evenly and you can see the solder start to flow inside there which is so cool up there it goes so when you see it flow into the wires you're done let that dry these are really ready to go. So I'm looking for a location to put the camera. Previously I've put it up on the back which is good um, but I don't really see the the winch. I don't see the uh, the um, 
the trailer connections, etc. What if I put this baby right in here, right where the right where the uh, handle is to open and close the tailgate? Let's take a look at that. If we put this in here, it doesn't interfere with the function of the of the of the of the, of the handle and uh, it's going to clear down there. So I think that's where I'm going to put it because man, I can really I can look down. I can look forward. Wow, that seems pretty ideal. That's where I think I'm going to put it. Okay, I've been thinking about this some more and realized this probably will work. So, unfortunately, I've got to take the tailgate off. Not unfortunately, but I take the tailgate off periodically. And I want to be sure I can do that without any problem. I figured it out. So, if I just drop this cable down here and have this connection here accessible, that will make this okay. Then I can have that this just where I want it. I thought about running this under the bottom of the tailgate and all these and be like ugh, it's just going to get into trouble but if I leave it connected here and then run the cable uh, inside I think that's going to work out fine okay now you can see I've got it installed I got five out of the six screws I couldn't get the final one here but I do have the sun shield on now we're going to open the the uh, the dump bed and wire this so it goes into the cab okay everything's wired up plugged in we plugged our power into the pulse bar and now we're looking at the back view we're looking at the front view you can see the garage door and then we have a menu I can look at all of our other options can go upside down this would be a lot better for me so there it is Turn it on, turn it off. Okay, this is the wiring. So the red, blue, and black wires I've got plugged into the pulse bar. That gives us power only when the key's on. We've got the big cables uh, of the camera cord from the rear and from the front here. We've got the two connections wired up. This isn't necessary. This would be only if we're going to be using the uh, 12 volt jack, which we're not. Here's our connection for the front camera. And we're in good shape. Everything's wired up. We'll just put a few zip ties and off we go. So thank you very much for watching. That was the installation of a dual camera front and rear with a nice high def LCD monitor 720p on a Polaris Ranger XP1000. Consider subscribing. Adventures with Dr. Joe. This camera setup is really useful and you'll be surprised you use it more than you think. Questions, comments are very welcome and again, thank you so much.